some of my favorite videos to shoot. We got a bunch of new discs today. Shout out to Lucky Disc Golf. They sent me four discs and 35 stickers. Sweet. By the way, if you guys catch a glimpse of this hand, I got lit up by some poison ivy. So, uh... If you see it, I'm sorry. It's disgusting. First disc we have. Ooh, by the way, use the promo code at Lucky Disc Golf and you save not five, not 10, but 15% off their discs. Little treat from us. So shout out to all the subscribers. You don't have to be a subscriber, but you'll still get 15% off. First disc, we have Kyle Klein's Creator Series Glow C-Line Vanguard. Yo, kind of between like an FD1 and an FD3 as far as feel. I'll have to go pick up that trash. This will be fun. We also have, ooh, a sexy looking Halo Destroyer. Yo, this looks like some Sherbert ice cream. Not my favorite ice cream, but 158 grams. This will be fun to throw. I'm not gonna throw any of these today. By any of these, I mean the first three that I'm showing you. I'm super excited about this, by the way. These will all be in like tomorrow's video, I believe. Nicholas Antala's Nordic Phenom 3, which is a Horizon DD3, yo, I'm wanting, <laughs> I know I just fixed the bag, but the one other disc that I might need in the bag is, might, take it with a grain of salt, a beefy DD3. I'm talking 196 gram DD3, that's what I need. I'm not sure, I've heard rumors that this isn't as overstable, but we'll find out tomorrow. Beautiful disc though, red and black, those are my high school colors, yeah, yeah, look at that thing. What we are going to be focusing on, we've got Cosmo and Wanda over here. Holy cow, this feels crazy. We have the Gorgon. This is Innova's understable fairway drivers. 10, 6, negative 3, 1, I believe. This is going to be fun. Okay, first of all, immediately in the hand, very rounded. Like, how are we going to do this? Look at the dome on that, okay? I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this justice, but this edge is so rounded. It feels very comfortable in the hand. This thing is probably going to be... Very understable. We're gonna go. Uh, we're gonna go throw these and see the difference in flight. Confession: I know I told you guys I'm done shooting out here at Old Post and Pleasant View, but I drove half an hour out to a new course and I forgot my SD card. So I'm back in Russellville. I'm not going back out there. So we're gonna have to settle with this big open fairway. Let's go ahead and see if there's any difference in flight. I'm gonna aim at that center tree out there. Probably 70%. Just put this on a touch of hyzer. Green one up first. Let's see how the Gorgon flies. Instant turn, no real signs of coming out. It is six in glide, negative three in turn, and a positive one. Here's the pink one, same line, same everything. Let's see the comparison. A little different. The green one was more domey, right? Here's our green one, pink one, probably 40 feet further. By the way, if you guys don't mind seeing Old Post and Pleasant View, let me know down in the comments. I was getting burnt out on it, but now I'm fortunate enough to play several different courses. So maybe we'll step back from like five to six videos a week at Old Post and just like one to two. You guys let me know. The green one is definitely more domey, no? Now we got a little shorty, 300 feet. Gonna hit this green one out left towards that tree and just kind of play the slow drift right towards the basket. You can circle one. This thing's gonna be so much fun to throw. We're gonna go straight at it with the pink one this time. See if we can maybe put it just a touch closer. Right there in the circle as well. This is this is gonna be fun. You know what we should do? I'm not bagging either one of these, so we'll do the point game today. And if I can get up to 20 points, I'll give somebody who likes and comments on the video one of these discs. I'm not gonna bag them, they're a little too flippy, and my bag is locked in. So one point for C2, two points for C1, three points for a park job, two shots each. We should get the 20 points, right? 350 feet. We're gonna have Cosmo go first every single time. So uphill, 350, a little bit of a tailwind this time, but I think this green one's flippy enough to get up there. Not even the tailwind helps it. Hey, y'all ain't getting no disc. <laughs> Here we go, pink one, same line. Like I said, I'm pretty sure this thing is a little less understable than that green one. Climb up that hill, baby. That's one point. I'm trying, guys. I want y'all to throw this Gorgon. <laughs> okay, sorry about that. That was only one point. And it's a little bit farther and more uphill, 380 feet. We're gonna go with the mother of all hyzer flips, okay? Stupid hyzer, probably 80% power. Gonna probably have to put this left of the basket because I don't see this thing hyzering back out. There ain't no way. There ain't no way. <laughs> Y'all aren't getting the Gorgon. This pink one might be your only chance of getting any points today. That was a lot higher. That thing might have gone out of frame. But guess what? Still zero points. <laughs> Damn! All right, let's shorten up some of these holes. Okay, 270 feet, it's under 300 feet. I think we can handle that. This is like the flippiest disc I've thrown. And I'm not saying like this is the flippiest disc out there. I'm saying like I throw a rhythm. That's as flippy as I go. I do not know how to throw these things. And with that being said, let's try to throw a forehand. That homie might be in danger. I trust myself. Here we go. Forehand, <laughs> please preferably at the basket. Okay, I got scared. I got scared of the guy. Please don't hit a truck. This is gonna be a long day. That's better. 
Swing back, miss the branches. Hey, that's a point. So we're five points through five holes at this rate. I'm gonna have to play 20 holes. I'm gonna have to cut the uh, giveaway part out of the video. 212 feet, just a little straight, slight bend to the left the whole way. Open shots have not been in my favor, so I can't fathom the woods is gonna do me any better, but it's still a fun shot to throw with the Gorgon. Oh, we made it, we made it, wait, you'll see it. Did y'all see it? I missed my line, but we're down there. There we go. It's probably only one point, but hey, we need them. Missed the line. Okay. That was another good shot. I missed my line both times. What's a brother gotta do to get a pure shot right now? Okay, so the line I was going for is where you can see the trash can. Both times I went through the trees though, but it's not about how you get there, it's where you land. And the green one landed here at C2. Buckets. Psych. And then the pink one here in C1. Buckets. Psych again. Good thing we're doing points. Three points on that hole was not on my bingo card, but I'll take it. We're at eight points and we're also on hole eight. I'm skipping around, trying to play the easy holes. Just a little hyzer flip underneath these trees. Nothing too hard about that. Please don't. Yes. This disc isn't for me, I can't. I can't, I don't have the finesse. But you know who this disc is for? Beginners. Max distance, I'm telling you. I'd throw lefty just to show you guys, but, uh, but I kinda need some points right now. There's no shot we go two for two on that. Might have to step that one off. No stepping off. I can see the C1 circle here. We're just outside. Shout out to Brody. <clears throat> Shout out to Brody. Hmm. <laughs> this is a horrible review. We're gonna go ahead and move over here to back nine snack time, see if we can get the ball rolling, which by the way, the site is available. Uh, I still got the mystery boxes and some hats. I think I'm gonna do away with the shirts. If you guys really want one, you can DM me, but they just take a little too long to get out and I kind of feel bad for the whole waiting process. But here we are, hole 12, 366, straight down the gap. Let's see what we can do here. I can't, I can't. You know what? I can. Let's throw back in roller. Is that a deer? Should I chase another deer down? If he's still there, I'm getting him. Here's the back end roller, here we go. Come on, come on. Am I just getting into C2 every single time with one throw? There it is. Let's go get him. Did he already hear me? Oh shoot. My cover was blown. I wasn't able to sneak up on it. But if you haven't seen that video of me sneaking up on the deer in Europe, please go to my Instagram, watch it. The craziest video, all right? I was so scared. Hole 13, 280 feet. If we can't do this, I'm just not giving you guys a disc, okay? I'm sorry, I don't know what it is. I suck. I can't throw flippy. Maybe it's just a bad day. Dude, that was, I mean, that's gonna swing back though. But that was at like 30% and it has effortless glide. I'll take it. Is that my first points with the Gorgon? The green one, rather? Cosmo, that's what I was trying to say. Here's Wanda. Okay, so maybe I just need to like really, really finesse because I'm getting some distance with it. That might be in C1 as well. Okay, there we go. Two points each, not too bad. Apparently all I have to do is just throw this thing at 30% and then I can actually throw it. Alrighty subs, I think we figured it out. Okay, if I, there's the deer again. How did I sneak up this close to the deer? He was like right there. We might see him on the next hole. Anyways, before I was rudely interrupted, if I throw this like I'm trying to finesse a putter, I can actually throw the disc. So we'll try it on this one. Baskets in between those little three trees, 250 feet. Just throw this like a 150 foot putter approach shot. Oh baby. Oh baby. We cracked the code guys. We did it. All right, here we go. Pink one. Can we go two for two? No. My channel, my rules. I think if you flip it, we're parked. That's three points, the first three points of the day. And we're on to my old friend. I mean, this is literally a death wish for this disc, but uh, we'll make it work. Like I said, as long as we finesse it like a putter, we can get a good clean fight out of this thing. Wish me luck. Okay, not bad. C1. What do I need, three points? Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Okay, so that's two points, so we need one point. That's not too hard to ask. Just don't be in the water, right? <laughs> we got one point. 